Hey guys! Vex here! Welcome back to Terraria. Now, I need to make sure, apparently, that I kill every of the three mechanical bosses. I've got ten mechanical skulls, uh, nine mechanical eyes, and... Well, these are normal mode bosses. I can craft this, uh, Rotten Chunk, Iron Bar, Soul of Night. I've got a bunch of souls of night. So let's go get some iron. How much iron do I have? Well quite a bit. I suppose I'll use lead. And then I need the chunks, which... Uh, do I have... Ah, I've got vertebrae and rotten chunks. I'll use the vertebrae first. Now, what crafting table is it? Oh, it looks like I've got it right here. Okay, cool. I've got a bunch of these now. I got a bunch of buff stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Uh, these spawn in the jungle, and I'm ready to talk about them now. I haven't been in the jungle yet, but I got one from somewhere... Must have been on another hard world. I don't remember picking it up, but I just found it in my inventory. But yeah, you get these in the jungle, and well, I guess I should have eaten it earlier, but... So I got the achievement, and that might prompt a merchant somewhere to do something, I'm not sure. And otherwise, we've got uh, plenty of buff potions ready. Yeah, I want the range damage. I want the wings. I probably do want the, uh, the star thing. Obsidian shield and... Yeah, I guess the, uh, the greed ring is fine as well. And here's my boss arena. And it's got the uh, region items, and it's got... Well, that's, that's basically it. And it's got a this thing that, that shoots out region stuff as well. So who do we go for first? I guess, um, I guess I'll try the worm, and we'll see how that goes. Oh, wait. Why can't I summon it? Is it daytime? No, it's nighttime. Oh, wait a minute. I think it's technically day. Uh Disappears after sunrise. If I throw this out... Yep, okay. Yeah, it's day. I guess it's a primitive way to check for if it's daytime, huh? I think 4 a.m. is the cutoff. So... I wonder when the nighttime is. What's that thing? Guarding Moon Charm? What the hell is this? Whoa! Interesting. Oh yeah, it was, uh... I was seeing some strange enemies, wasn't I? So, what should my strategy be for... the boss? Uh... Well, now it's a sandstorm. Fantastic. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for nighttime, I guess. I don't think there's much else I can really do. If this is the... You know, what I'm determined to do. Okay, so... Nighttime is actually 7.30, dawn is 4.30, by the way. And holy crap! That took so long to wait out. Because I wasn't running Terraria as a server, so I, I couldn't alt-tab away from the game. Okay! So, I think my boss arena should be just fine. Um, there's a frickin' sandstorm going on right now, which is kind of a pain in the ass, and it makes me want to, like, switch the biome of this place. Maybe that's, ah, maybe that's what I should have been doing while waiting. Uh, but anyway, if I stay over on this side, it, it doesn't do it. <laughs> Alright. I also made, like, 30 gold worth of enemy drops just being, like, AFK waiting. So, I think we'll start with this thing. And we'll go ahead and eat our buff potions, and start. And I think the flamethrower should work pretty good on this guy. That's my life. That's alright. Uh-oh, now he's above me. I probably don't want to actually touch this guy if I can help it. I do need to get out from, like, under him, though, so I might just want to fly through him while I'm invincible. I should probably also summon my, um, my stuff up here. I'm not sure which of these does, ends up doing more damage, honestly. The gun or the flamethrower.
But as long as I keep my life top off, I should be fine. And pick the hearts and stuff that fall. I think this guy dies all at once. I don't know if he partitions. I think he's almost dead. Yep, there we go. Alright, so where's his drops at? Right here. Hallowed bars. More potions. Alright, so that wasn't too bad, and that took uh, about three hours of Terraria time. Okay, so he... I can... I didn't even really come close to dying to him. Um, boss arena functions as intended. Uh, the Sandstorm didn't really do much either. How about a... Skeletron Prime, or Mechanical Eye. Let's see. I don't know if I've beaten these guys yet. Oh my god, there's like a gnat flying around my face in real life. Absolute annoying little piece of crap. These guys have a really annoying movement pattern, don't they? But I did hear that... Uh, Vertical movement is is uh, really important for beating these guys. Are you supposed to knock them out like at the same time? I'll see if I can. I see if I can kill them. Uh, try and kill them at the same time, roughly, if possible. Yeah, I think my I think my gun is the the Oh my god, you fucking bug. All right, we need more DPS on uh Spazman. Spasmatism. Oh, that one's got a flamethrower. All right, let's swing back by the uh health parts. There we go. Restore my uh, the rain. There we go. And need more health parts. Oh my god! I need to get clipped out of this guy though. Whee! And down we go. I might want to eat a health potion actually. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. I'll eat a health potion. Alright, there's one down and two. Woo, okay. Yeah, I hadn't beaten them yet. Hey, the stupid sandstorm stopped. That's good. Alright. I really don't want the stupid slime banners if we can get rid of these. It looks like I managed to eat one of the Spelunker's potions unintentionally. That kind of sucks, actually. Alright, uh, and then the last one is Mechanical Skull. Do I have time? Ooh. If I do, it's gonna be close. Alright, so this guy's strategy is... I think lots of more horizontal movement. So I probably want to fly up at an angle. I feel like I need more speed to get away from this stupid ass. Oh, we also need to summon my rain clouds and the spider turret. Do I focus on the head more? I mean, I guess as long as I hear constant tinkling, we're doing okay. He's at what? Uh, I can't really see his HP too well. Am I zoomed out as much as I can be? Yes, I am.
I do remember blowing off all of his appendages before, and then he just like zoomed at me with his skull head, and I died like horribly. So that was a that was a bit of a problem. Uh, it's 3:30. I've got one Terraria hour left. So this is actually going to be really close. I, I guess I'll focus on the head. Come here. Stay in the rain clouds. I need the extra DPS. Hearts. Okay, there we go. Oh shit, this is gonna be really close. I only have a little bit more. I'm just gonna stand still. Come in the come in the rain cloud. Oh, whew, there we go. Ah, oh, all three bosses in one night. I'm and I barely managed that. That was pretty close. And it's daytime in three, two, one, daytime. A solar eclipse is happening. Oh, it's this event! Well, at least I'm... Alright, well, I mean, at least I... I, uh... I'm in the right spot, huh? I wish my pet would get down here. Maybe that'll help. Whoa! What's that thing? A Mothron? What the fuck is a Mothron? I've never seen this thing before. Suck lead, commie scum! Are you a mini boss? It seems like a mini boss. I want whatever you've broken, Hero Sword. Well, that was cool! What's a Hero Sword do? It's a material. Go into the light, Mothrin! The light of fire! Mm, yes. Ow. He hits hard. What is that thing? A Mothrin egg? Ew, it's laying eggs! I kind of want to see if the eggs hatch. Maybe I'll leave the egg alone. What's that thing? A baby Mothrin. Oh, it's adorable! Yeah, I definitely want the eggs to hatch. I want to kill the baby Mothrins. I, I need to kill the babies to see what happens. Although, you, you need to maybe die now. I just found a deadly death site. That sounds kind of awesome. Ah! Get wrecked, bitch. My gun seems a little more consistent than the flamethrower. Flamethrower is probably better for big groups of enemies, though. Although, you know, I mean, the gun's not that bad for big groups of enemies, either. Ooh, something, something in this crowd hurts when it hits. Probably most things. Friggin' hard to hit little vampire bats. Ugh. I had to eat another health potion. Is my inventory full? Yeah, my inventory's full. Oh god, not another one of these fucking things! Ow! They hurt! And some asshole sniping at me with a laser in there. And a vampire bat just hit me. I'm gonna die here if I, uh, can't heal again. It's another 30 seconds on the healing cooldown. Let's see if I can retreat to the base. I would love to heal if I could. Alright, doors shut. Alright, let's go ahead and put up the, uh, oh shit! The ghost can go through the wall, that's right. 
Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, activate this. Recruit a second pirate. Get out there, dude. And activate the rain clouds right in front of the doors here. Whew. Davian keep security measures activated. Uh, the rain clouds could be a little better positioned. There we go. Whew! Okay. Oh my gosh! Let's go sort the inventory out here. Excellent. I think we can put away the potions as well. Okay. Relax a little bit. I'm really cu curious. Uh, security systems destroy them while I go see what this does. What is this? True Knight's Edge. Oh. Wow. True Excalibur. This motherfucking thing just come into my base. So apparently it can, like, occasionally go... It just goes through walls? Sometimes? It sometimes goes through walls? It sometimes goes through walls when it feels like, I guess. Well, my flamethrower can kind of go through walls too. So I can hit these guys on the other side of the door with it. I suppose it's a pretty good use for the flamethrower. Walls in Terraria are just like a suggestion. What's an eye spring? Aw, oh, shit, not another one of these things. Let me try to lure this thing away from the base. Come on, come on down here, you little shithead. I'm apparently farming my mushroom. I'm gonna farm my mushroom. I guess I farm my mushroom farm while I do this down here. These fucking things hit so hard. Whew. Oh my gosh. I have no health potions on me because I put them away. Because I was like, ah, oh, I probably won't need these. It'll be great. This shit's that. Play any more. Messing up my mushroom farm with your ore generation, huh? Well, okay. I'm mostly alive. Maybe if I stay underground, the, uh, the stupid moths won't spawn down here. I haven't farmed my mushroom farm in a long time, though. Probably did need to come down here and uh, clear it off. There's some sort of really high-level armor that I might want that is made with mushrooms. Or something. Oh my gosh, guys. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to take a break here. I seem to have stopped spawning the moth things by being underground. Um, and that's fine with me. But, uh... I'll see you guys next episode. Until then, as always, take it easy. Okay. Okay. I, I, I'm back. I... This, this. This death sickle. I tried it out. It's one of those ranged melee weapons, and it shoots out, like, this thing is fucking awesome. Just look at this. Okay, let me put my stupid pirate pet away. But, like, if you're running backwards, it's effectively a ranged weapon, and it ticks multiple times per scythe, and there's no mana cost. And my armor is melee and ranged damage, and I can use this kind of stuff... Uh, just fine. But I think I'm going to use this instead of the flamethrower. It goes through walls, and I'm trying to find an enemy that doesn't die in, like, a one hit immediately. Okay, this guy's got 260 HP, so I'm just going to throw this once at him. And it hits... that hit him twice. Yeah, it, it one-shot that guy. Like, it says it deals 73... Uh, 73 melee damage, but because of the multi-hit part of it... It doesn't come back, though, but... 
Yeah, it, this is way better than the flamethrower. Like, the flamethrower deals 34, and this is 73. Um, I think the flamethrower technically has longer range. If I stand still, the flamethrower would reach out to... Yeah. But, I don't know if that range is going to make enough difference, because if something's that long a range way up, I should probably just use this. Right? But I think I would have a uh, much easier time on something like the. Oh, actually. This guy. Let's try it out on this guy. Come here. Come here, you. It looks like there may be a limit to how many times it hits. Like, it's only allowed to take a certain number of times? I might go read the, uh, after this real quick, I might read the, uh, wiki article about it. But, let me get back my... my dude. Um, and resummon my rain clouds. And maybe grab some of these hearts right here. But, uh, yeah, this thing seems really good. And it, it leaves it leaves persistent projectiles spinning in the air out in front of you. Which is going to be great for, like, little swarm enemies, I think. Yeah, I think I found my preferred melee weapon. Um, it's already deadly rated. I... I kind of am wondering if uh, if that's the best. Whatever the best stats for it are, I'll just go look them up on the uh, wiki and re-roll it to that. Oh, uh, the Ice Spring? It's a pet. It's a vanity pet. It's this little eyeball on a gore spring that just kind of hops around. That's that's it right there. That, that That's it. So that's what that does. Uh, did I get anything else? Uh, I got this. That makes a sword later. Um... I don't know what the sword does. I don't have the. I don't think I have the crafting material for it. I, I might actually. Let's check that real quick before I sign off as well. It was. There were two options. And the two options: there's a true Excalibur or a true Knight's Edge. Excalibur or Knight's Edge. Uh, I don't know which one of these to make. I'll deal with that later. I'm not really a sword guy. But this, this is awesome. Anyway. Uh, now it's actually time to sign off. I'll see you guys later. Until then, as always, take it easy.